What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really, really do appreciate it. <clears throat> to my members only community, it goes without saying, I love you guys. Mm -hmm. To the moon and back, you know that. This is a Scorpio affair, sun, moon rising, Venus, north node, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your coffee, your tea, your gin, your vodka, whatever it takes, Scorpio. Let's tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. Let those ads play for at least a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Every time you donate to the channel, your name goes into the Take Me Off the YouTube Algorithm raffle, where I choose twice a month two people to give a free reading. That's my give back. Alright, I think that's all the announcements. Okay, Scorpio, let me tell you what I was channeling earlier on your energy. So. I'm getting a husband or wife, flip, switch the roles. Scorpio, I don't even know where, where you are in this yet. But <clears throat> what I'm getting is somebody who's very strategic, very clever. This could be an air sign I'm picking up energy on. Um, what's going on is this person has been a very good husband or wife to you. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. They're doing somebody's roof. They were almost done and now they pick back up. So I don't know. But um, This person has always did what they were supposed to do. I mean, like, you're happy. You never suspected this person had a wandering eye or, you know, I just feel like this person has always loved on you. And I feel like this person genuinely loves you that way. I don't feel like... You know, it's nothing to question about the love, but I feel like this person is strategic in saying that, like, this person's, this person rationalizes this is not cheating because they feel like as they can have as many women as they want as long as they can take care of all of them and, like, treat everybody equally. Because what I'm getting is, um, Scorpio, somebody here... I'm, I'm really getting divine masculine energy, so, but Scorpio, take whichever side, you could be the wife, you could be the karmic, I don't know, but your person has been in this connection with this karmic for almost two years, I'm hearing, two to two and a half years, thank you, Source. Um, this person has been trying to get pregnant to no avail, it's not going to happen. Um, but the thing that's different about this karma, because I feel like Scorpio has been many others, is this karma has come in a time of almost like your person being in midlife crisis. Like, you know, they want to reinvent themselves. These, they, they done had a pot belly the whole while, you know, now they working out in the gym, they're you know, drinking protein shakes. Like, this person, they're acting different, but to you, it, it doesn't signal. Like, if they were not a, as good of husband or wife they were, to you, that would signal like, oh, why all of a sudden you trying to work out? You ain't been trying, you know, you would have been like that, but because they're such a great husband and father and, you know, all of this other stuff, it's just a lot of stuff that don't show up as red flag to you, okay? So... <clears throat> This karmic knows about you. This karmic has always known about you, Scorpio. If this, if you're the wife, okay. Um, this karmic is okay with being a mistress as long as your husband continues to, you know, furnish her needs and, you know, make sure her bills are paid and, you know, the mistress perk, mistress perk. like this person watches your social media um 
and I feel like the karma, they only do it just so they can kind of like gauge what's going on between you and your husband. As far as like, when I say gauge it, I mean compare it. Because I feel like this person have a fit when he do something similar for you, for her. Like, she want to be set aside, you know, yeah, I'm the only mistress. Because I feel like your husband done, husband or wife done been with plenty of other people. Other karmics, like third party situations. I feel like you never knew it. You never would have suspected it. That's why you're getting this message right here. Okay, the first um, message out is stringing along, yeah. I'm telling you, this person, they don't, Scorpio, they don't even feel like they're doing nothing wrong. I don't know if it, it could be you. They don't feel like they're doing anything wrong because they're, they're dividing the pie. Everybody's getting equal opportunity, baby, employee. He giving everybody, when he sleep with one of y'all, he sleep with the other one. I feel like now he's, this mistress, for some reason, he's taken a, a particular liking to. This this karmic reminds him a lot of you. No, he knows this isn't his, you know, one all be all. But he likes the fact that she's she's like a younger version of you is what I'm getting, Scorpio. So stringing along, it says being strung along, giving false hope, selfish intentions. Yeah. See that's selfish as fuck. You know you married. Ain't no fucking three, four wives in America, bitch. You're not in Israel or wherever the hell they ten book to, wherever they do that at. Yeah, forbidden fruit. Like, I can't make this shit up. I was channeling this message. I've been doing personal readings all day, so I haven't, I haven't, you know, gotten to the table till now. It's, it's late. It's like 3 o'clock in the evening. But I've been channeling this message, and it hasn't been a personal message for a personal read. It has, but it's for you, Scorpio. I don't know. And, and Source is telling me not to even be concerned with where you fit in. Just tell the story. So that's what I'm about to do. All right. Forbidden fruit is here. It says, desire but dangerous, not socially acceptable, tempting, alluring. That's what I said. Like, bitch, you're not in Israel. Or uh, wherever they do that shit where you can have ten wives and, you know, you got to take care of them. Mm -mm, no, that's, no. If you're married, you, you're forbidden fruit. You're not supposed to have a mistress. But I feel like your person done rationalize this that's how they rationalize it in their mind to be like where it's not they're not committing adultery and i feel like just like i said scorpio this person is a dynamic husband or wife like you don't suspect that they doing like they know what they doing bro they strategic with this shit it's levels to this shit they they know every level of it and they know how to please this person, you know, I'm I'm seeing that Knight of Wands energy. Like they excite they, they it excites them to sleep with different women. To smell different women, I'm hearing that. To he this person too, I feel like they're really caught up on like complexion. Complexion and hair, like it's a certain this person got a type. Your your husband got a type. These people they, they look a lot like you and, and they resemble you in some type of way. Either it's how they look or it's how they talk or how they present themselves. But everybody this, you know, your husband has been affiliated with, they have some type of characteristics of you, Scorpio. Gossip. Gossip about you, worried others will talk, heard rumors about you. Yeah. See, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's getting around town now. When the, as soon as I saw the Forbidden Fruit card, I feel like, yeah, so it, it, it's getting out. Somebody is noticing that your husband is, like, helping somebody out, helping this young lady out. I don't feel like they, like, know, but people are guessing and, and whispering now and starting rumors. Yeah, you pull waiting. It says, holding on to hope, not taking action, stand still, delays. See... What else I was getting energetically is like, it's like Scorpio, you, whoever, whoever runs up on this shit, whoever figures it out, this is what, this is what happens. It's one of those kind of like, oops, or like a matter of fact type of way that somebody tells you that they saw your husband with a younger woman that kind of looked like you, kind of dressed like you. I feel like this woman is kind of mimicking you because she's trying to like make this last. This person, 
I feel like your person have told them, you know, like, I always love my wife. Like, she's my da-da-da-da. And I feel like this person has started, have started ship shape, shape shifting into you. This person is really trying to, you know, like, draw your energy. This person has started this gossip, the chatter, too, because this person, whatever spell this is, whatever, um... It feels like a binding spell, but it feels like chaos magic too. Because I feel like the chaos, um, the chaos magic is the gossip. The gossip is to get it going. I feel like with the waiting card here, this person just like they sending all this shit your way and trying to see what's gonna happen. So it says holding on to hope, not taking action, stand still, delays. Yeah, it's like this person keep trying to break y'all up or trying to like send you clues without sending you clues, right? about what's going on with with you and and her husband with you, with her and your husband but i feel like scorpio you just kind of like it's almost like <clears throat> it's a little bit more than you want to give this person the benefit of the doubt it's almost like i just i if it's true this shit my life is been such joy such completion such whatever since this person been in it till like even if that's what's going on like i don't want to go looking for it it gotta come find me and that's what happened with the gossip the gossip started the whole you know making you feel a certain type of way and i i feel like scorpio too i feel like for a lot of y'all i feel like you i feel like this is past i feel like you turned your eye to it but with the forever change card, I feel like you were forever changed because of it. Like, whether you stay or whether you go, I feel like somebody was forever changed because of this. It says a new self, lasting changes, a love that transforms. I feel like this is self-love. I feel like this connection with this person, when you realize how vindictive how calculated how somebody can rationalize sleeping with two or three or four people after you married that that's love and how they how they made you feel like nothing was wrong i'm here in charlamagne the god and gg like they whole situation that was one of her things she was like you know it it wasn't the typical he's staying out all night or he's treating me bad or he's not complimenting me or he's not buying me shit and taking me She's like, he was the perfect husband. But he cheated. I feel like that'll fuck me up more than like somebody who you just was like, yeah, I, I knew that bitch was a sleazeball, right? Either way, it hurts. But I feel like this way, Scorpio, it hurts even worse because this person was able to fool you with love. This person was able to make it look like something else. They were able to package it and keep it away from you. This is a person you thought shared every fucking thing with you. And this person got a whole nother life somewhere. This person, your person got a whole nother mistress somewhere that's trying to get pregnant. This person trying to co-create with your husband. This person is trying to imitate you. This person is trying to learn everything they can about you. They're looking at your social medias. They're watching how you talk, the phrases you use. Like this person obsessed with you. This person could even try to become your friend or like employed by you if you somebody who own a business. Because I, I feel like this, and if you own a business, I feel like this person patroning your business or they like, if you do something with YouTube, they own your shit all the time. They're listening. They're waiting for the message they want to hear about you know, whatever this this shit is, they thought they sent to you, Scorpio, but they, they can't send it to you. They are the forbidden fruit. They're the ones that's cursed. On the bottom of the deck, you got cut out. Yeah, cutting ties in separation. Leaving before it gets worse. Cutting your losses. So, that's the storyline. That's just what, that's what's been going on. And I feel like, this been going on a long time. Like, this person has been able to, like, do this with, like, and, like, stay up under the radar. 
And, and, and if you think about it, Scorpio, and I feel like you do think about it, and that's what fuck you up and make you so furious. When you think about it, it was it was the perfect like it was the perfect plan. It was the perfect strategy. Like you know, that's why I feel like a lot of times the simple shit escape us. The simple shit escapes us. The fact that this person didn't falter in his husband duties being a householder, you never su suspected that they would do you this way. It's the ultimate betrayal to you and your marriage vows. To somebody else, this mistress is to come up. She's trying to replace you. She's trying to give him this, this portrait of a younger you, but this person ain't you. And whether they're younger than you or not, it's just like they're not they're not articulate like you are. They're not they're not the the the, the North Star. They're not the center of the tension. That they, they, they don't understand like it's not what's on you, Scorpio. It's what's in you that's attracting this good shit to you. This person has gotten a taste of what, you know, your husband, how he really treats you. And now they want a bigger taste because, really, be honest with you, this person didn't treat, don't treat the rest of them like they treat you, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. But this person is getting intel. They like, oh, so you took, this, you took out a Cabo last month? And you told me you went too well on a business trip. And you took me to South Beach in Miami. A three hour weekend trip. Like, you know, it's that type of energy now where this person is like trying to cash in on their chips. They keep comparing you with them. And, you know, I feel like the way the way your husband or whoever this is, significant other, pitches this to them is like... You know, you wife number one, and everybody else under you is, you know, two, three. They don't get what mama get. Scorpio, I feel like you, when you find this shit out to be true, like I said, some of y'all, y'all stay anyway. Y'all don't even say shit. Some of y'all might even have y'all own fucking boy, boy toy mistress. I don't know. But I'm getting that for some of y'all, this is very hurtful. Very hurtful. I feel like it's hitting you like a ton of bricks. I feel like for some of y'all, it's that thing where you instinctively and intuitively feel it now. Now, if you see see what I'm what I'm getting is a few of y'all Scorpios, y'all are able. Remember what I said in the beginning, like the good the good outweigh the bad. Like y'all y'all are some of y'all are able to look the other way, but with this, this group of Scorpios. You're sitting there now and you're saying, okay, wait a minute. If I take out him opening and closing the door and paying the bills and making love to me on a regular basis and complimenting me and if I take all that shit away and I and I add in the all the late nights that he stayed out and he told me it was work. The trips that he told me were work. Now I know that, they, you know, you got some Scorpio sitting there like that and they're like, oh, I, I mean, it's hitting you like a ton of bricks. Like, I just feel like you shaking all over waiting for this person to get home. And I feel like it's one of them nights where they late again. I feel like the scales have just fallen off your eyes, your heart. I feel like Scorpio, at this point, you don't even know what you're going to do. Your overall energy say you're going to cut ties, but I just feel like you, your body and your emotions and shit, they ain't, they doing their own shit at the same time. And it's like, you don't even know what, because your, I feel like your body in convulsions almost. Just to think all these years you thought you had your happy ending, you thought you was, you know, healing with your other half and growing and to you, it's, it's. To you, Scorpio, to these few of uh, Scorpios I'm talking to, I feel like it's more of a, why didn't I see this? What's going on with my gifts? What did I do? Why did I let my guards down? It's like, it feels like that, but, but Source is saying, no. Don't feel like that, Scorpio. This person, this person illustrated this. They strategically, this is, this is a, this is something very planned out. This is something this person been doing for years, y'all been married. And this person has always been able to keep it under wraps. I just feel like this person that they're dealing with is younger. And they, they're jealous now. When they see the things that your husband is doing for you, 
or you doing, they demand more. Pick what side you on with this shit, Scorpio. Whether you the mistress, I don't know. I'm just telling the story because I ain't here to get across watch the shit. Okay? It's going to be a part two to this problem. But this shit forever changed how you look at love, how you look at people as a whole. And I feel like it's good, Scorpio. I feel like it's what you need. I'm hearing tough skin right now. Um, let's see what the overall energy is. Because I want to get some more clarity here. Space is your overall energy. It says someone wants space. Give it, give it some time. It's you. You want the space. Um... So for a lot of you Scorpios who I was speaking to about you didn't know what you were going to do or how you were going to handle it, I feel like you just tell this person you need time out, you need space, you need... I don't even feel like you're telling this person what's going on with you, that you know about what's going on with them. And I feel like they, they energetically want to let you go ahead and have this space so that they can make this person like almost like they can catch up with the mistress. Make her feel like he feels like he can make a spin on this. Like, okay, go ahead and do what you got to do. You know, anything you need, I'm here, blah, 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 blah. But then this, you know, it's giving, it's, it's giving them an opportunity to spend more time and get this mistress where they want them to be. All right. So on stringing along, the first energy we get is the number 10. It says run. Running away from their problems is all they have known. They are running away from themselves, not you. Yeah, see, I feel like this person is just... I don't know if they grew up like this. If they, you know, if they, if they saw their father or their mother, you know, running a lot of women or like not being home and just hearing the arguments back and forth. But this shape, this person's... You know, I feel like your person, Scorpio, has a different idea about love. Because with the forbidden fruit here, I feel like it's forbidden to them because, um, you know, it just hasn't been unlocked yet. Or it just hasn't been explored yet. This person is all about the forbidden fruit is what I'm getting. All right, we have 15 guide you. They seek to guide you through the difficulties you may be facing. They want to be there for you. Yeah, see what I'm saying? They're going towards the forbidden fruit. Number 15 could be significant, which is the mistress. But they're playing it out to you like, yeah, if you need space, I'm, you know, I'm here for you. Do that. You know, if you need anything, look me up, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, you're not guiding me. Not anymore. But Scorpio, I feel like what you're doing is something very strategic. I feel like you don't want to make a rash decision because you've been with this person a long, long time. And I feel like you're in a, you're in a position where, you know, you can really put your ducks in a row, so to speak, right now. You could say, well, you could still, you still have access to the banks. You know, you still have every access that you always had because this person don't suspect that is them because you told them it was you. You on gossip, you pulled the number two revenge. That's what I, I feel like you're thinking about your ultimate revenge, but not in a hurtful way, but in a way where you're able to leave this situation, get this space and still be, um, you know, like materially taken care of. Like you ain't going to be up, up under no bridge because you want space, right? So I feel like that's what this person is saying. You keep access. You keep your cards. Keep access to the bank accounts and all that. Just keep me, you know, up to date. Because they see this as an opportunity. They're busy. They're real busy. This is like a firefly. This bitch or a fire ant. This bitch is really busy. He always have been. And I feel like, Scorpio, that's something you admired about them. Their work ethic. They always going. They always producing. Always bringing home the money. Always bringing you roses. Always kissing you on the cheek. Always, you know, hitting you on the butt in the kitchen. Like, this person is the, 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 the perfect storm of husband and, like, knight of cups energy. Like, they know what to do for each individual person. It's like they know the formula for your ass. And it feels like they keep pulling people towards you like you except this one. On waiting, you have potential. Stay present so you can see where this goes. See, that's what I'm saying. See, that's what I feel like you're doing strategically. 
on waiting in potential. You're staying present so you can see where this goes. You're not totally cutting this person out. But you're trying to give them enough rope to hang themselves. You, you're being just as strategic as they are now. Uh, if not more. Okay, and on forever change, you have the number 19 dark path. It says, they want to lead you down a dark path so that you can't find your light and stay stuck. Yeah, that's this karmic, he would, this mistress. That's doing the spell work. <clears throat> These binding spells. I feel like, I feel like, really, be honest with you, this person wouldn't know. This person is not a witch. They're not a, a cultist. This person is not even like somebody that's even gifted. This, this person, to me, is just somebody who's dark. And when I say that, what I mean is they, they appear dark, but they're really not spiritually like the gothic, you know, like the gothic look, like their fingernails black, they wear the black lipstick and all this. But this person is not spiritual as, at all. They're not consulting the devil or no fucking body, okay? This person is like looking on Google or something down where trying to do this jar magic and chaos magic on you. And it's like, girl, just because you dark does not mean you're dark. Scorpio bitch, on the other hand, don't try it. Don't try it. And they're seeing that now. But see, it's like what you're doing, how you're being guided, the number 15, it's like don't God, source is saying, don't God his ass, God you, Scorpio. I feel like and that's what you're doing. <laughs> it's it's revenge, it's sweet revenge, really. But no harm to no harm intended to anybody. These, these people are sending this to you and it's failing. You don't even have to return it back to sender. It's not even potent enough. Um, yeah, let's get into the tarot. This is weird energy. And I feel like... It feels like... While your... Uh, significant other husband is with this other person... Having this time... You know... That you cut them out, right? The space. Your Both overall energies cut out in space... You're giving them enough, you know, rope to hang themselves. And what did they do? Look, string it along and run. You, you're trying to see just how far, what kind of marathon this bitch finna run. Because you know, now you've identified with who the karmic is. She made sure that. She wanted you to know that she looks like you, a younger version of you. That's what she always tells people. I'm a younger version of his wife. Bitch, no, you're not. <laughs> you're a younger version of your low vibrational self. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to let you have him too, okay? Period. Or maybe not. For some Scorpios, like, nah, I'm just going to handle my shit and get you gone. Off with your fucking head. Period. Spirit guys, angels, what's going on with the stringing along in the run? Yeah, because I feel like when you, the moment you say space and pack your shit up and leave, they just like beeline over to the mistress like, okay, now it's time. Let me foot massage her. Let me get her a little money to put in the bank. Let me take her on a trip to Hawaii somewhere exotic so she can, you know, trying to get, trying to bait her up. So when you do return, Scorpio, you know, he's thinking in his mind, then he'll go back. Oh, because she's so baited up and. You know, he got her feeling so whole and sexy and content. Now he over here like, nah. I just want to see what you're going, what kind of lunatic you really are. Like, how far are you willing to go with this shit? All right. Spirit guys, angel. Show me what I need to see on this string alone and run for Scorpio. Number 10, you done. Yeah, the 10 of wands in reverse. I told you, number 10, 10 of wands. I don't know why. I saw that 10 of wands, but I saw it upright. And, you know, just <laughs> with it in the reverse, it pretty much is the same. You were doing it all, Scorpio, carrying the load, you know. Um, not you, I'm sorry. You, This person is like, you know, doing it all, carrying the load, right? Making you, you're okay to do your creative stuff. Whatever you want to do, if you want to stay at home, watch TV all day, you know, this person is real resourceful. They have a really, really heavy, heavy work ethic like they do. Because they know they, what they're doing, they have to pay for it. You know, it pays to have money because they got to wine and dine these people, right? They can't just be mediocre. Um, But yeah, with this run and the ten of wands in reverse, it's like... This person feel like they paying the cost to be the boss. I just saw the seven of swords. Why is the ten of wands here for string along? Yeah, the seven of cups in reverse. This feels like somebody is aligning their personal values here. This is you, Scorpio. 
That's why you wanted this time. As soon as this person began to run the other way, you began to strategize and get yourself back in alignment. I feel like two to seven of cups talks about a lack of purpose, right? Fantasy, illusions. I feel like you're just kind of contemplating. You're playing shit back in your head. You're seeing where you fucked up. You're seeing where the confusion came in with you, right? Why, this, why is the seven of cups in reverse? You see why this person was able to do you like this. It was stability. It was stability. The justice is in reverse. Yeah. This is just somebody treating you very unfair. Like I said, I feel like this has been going on a long time. Um, and I feel like even now, I feel like this person will this person will not take accountability for what they're doing. They don't see it as wrong. They feel like if they're treating you equally. See, that's why that justice is in reverse. You is fucking wife. So, bitch, it's no equally. I'm the wife and you're the mistress. But that's why this justice is upright is in reverse with the seven of cups in reverse and the damn ten of wands because this person your person scorpio or wherever you fit in is they've been paying the cost to be the boss with everybody that's how they've been able to pull this off why is it justice in reverse it's gonna be a part two guys yeah the knight of swords i feel like your person is really like like i said they charge towards the mistress the justice in reverse could have been a Libra they've been dealing with, a younger Libra here. This person could be on the Libra Scorpio cusp. On this on the Scorpio Sag cusp. Um, yeah, but this person went running towards the justice in reverse, which is the mistress. That's where they fucked up at. Because I feel like Scorpio, that's why you cut them out, and that's why you told them you needed space. For one, you wanted to see what they were gonna do. With the finances, with everything. Because the conversation y'all had, this person is telling you they're not going to stop anything. And they didn't. But they thought you were coming back. And it, they thought that it, you gave them an opportunity to work with the mistress. They went, they ran straight. The Knight of Swords to the Justice in Reverse. They went straight to the mistress. Why is the Forbidden Fruit and Guide you here for Scorpio? Too many. I feel like you kind of ghosted this person too. When you said you need a space, like this person ain't able to contact you, phone, nothing like that. I feel like you like literally disappear because you just want to see. But I feel like you somewhere or you got somebody where you seeing it all. Forbidden fruit and guide you like you know what's going on. Play by fucking play. This karma could be, could be posting it on her social media or her IG or something. The same way she was able to follow you, Scorpio, I feel like that's how you, you look. The Nine of Cups in reverse. On the forbidden fruit and guide you. It says they seek to guide.